St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from the late Miss Florence Cox of Halifax, Nova Scotia, who while she was alive requested that this Mass be said on the fourth anniversary of her death. Her wishes include that her late sister Louise Glassy and her brother-in-law John Glassy, as well as other living and deceased family members be remembered. May their souls and all the souls of the faithfully parted to the mercy of God rest in peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. my friends, the Lord be with you. Amen. To prepare ourselves today to celebrate the Eucharist, once again to be nourished by the gifts of God's word and his sacrament, we pause and place ourselves in God's presence, conscious of our need of God's grace and his mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with the Father, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. God, our Father and Protector, without you, nothing is holy, nothing has value. Guide us to, to everlasting life by helping us to use wisely the blessings you have given to us in this world. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Chronicles. Now after the death of Jehoiada the priest, the officials of Judah came and did obeisance to the king. Then the king listened to them. They abandoned the house of the Lord, the God of their ancestors, and served the sacred poles and the idols. And wrath came upon Judah and Jerusalem for this guilt of theirs. Yet he sent prophets among them to bring them back to the Lord. They testified against them, but they would not listen. Then the Spirit of God took possession of Zechariah, son of the priest Jehoiada. He stood above the people and said to them, Thus says God, Why do you transgress the commandments of the Lord so that you cannot prosper? Because you have forsaken the Lord, he has also forsaken you. But the officials conspired against Zechariah, and by command of the king, they stoned him to death in the court of the house of the Lord. King Joash did not remember the kindness that Jehoiada, Zechariah's father, had shown him, but killed his son. As he was dying, Zechariah said, May the Lord see and avenge. At the end of the year, the army of Aram came up against Joash. They came to Judah and Jerusalem and destroyed all the officials of the people from among them and sent all the booty they took to the king of Damascus. Although the army of Aram had come with few men, the Lord delivered into their hand a very great army because they had abandoned the Lord, the God of their ancestors. Thus they executed judgment on Joash. When the army of Aram had withdrawn, leaving King Joash severely wounded, his servants conspired against him because of the blood of the son of the priest Jehoiada, and they killed him on his bed. So Joash died, and they buried him in the city of David, but they did not bury him in the tombs of the kings. The word of the Lord. Come on. 
chosen one. I have sworn to my servant David. I will establish your descendants forever and build your throne for all generations. Thank you. 